5 Weight Loss Hacks You Need to Know Now In an ideal world, we would have time for prepping and cooking balanced meals every day and we would be surrounded by healthy food options. Sadly, we don't live in an ideal world. We live in a busy world and we're surrounded by junk food and other food options that are not nutritious, healthy, or good for us. So we need weight loss hacks to keep us on track with our healthy lifestyle. We also need weight loss tips and food hacks for how to get healthy. But, you know what? You got this. You just have to believe in yourself and try these healthy eating hacks. Trust me, I've made all the mistakes. I've also learned, over the course of gaining and losing weight and then eventually keeping it off what works and what doesn't work. Hack number 1. Drink more water. Drinking more water will help you to stay hydrated and healthy. Ideally, you'll want to be drinking half your weight, in ounces, every day. For example, I weigh 140 pounds so I should be drinking approximately 70 ounces of water every day, and then more if I exercise. So if you drink around 8 glasses of water a day, that's roughly 60 to 70 ounces, that's a great goal, and then just adjust for your weight. Drinking plenty of water isn't only good for hydration, it will help you lose weight, too. Just think about it, water has zero calories. Zero. You can drink as much as you want without counting calories. Water can also help you eat less. Drink a glass of water before a meal. Water will fill up your stomach and you will eat less without feeling hungry. Also, did you know your body tricks you into thinking you are hungry when it's actually that you're dehydrated and in need of water? That means, once you drink your water, you'll stop feeling hungry when your body actually isn't even really hungry. Finally, drinking water instead of sugary drinks or even sugar-free drinks will also retrain your body and taste buds to enjoy less sugar each day so you'll crave fewer sweet treats and empty carbs. If you need help getting started drinking more water, try to drink a glass of water before any other drink each time you have a drink during the day. You could also try adding natural flavors to your water, like lemon juice, mint, or fresh fruit slices. Hack number 2. Practice good sleep habits. Weight loss hacks are not just about food and calories. They are about rest, too. Rest and sleep are just as important for how your body functions and what your body craves. When you sleep well, you have more energy during the day so your body craves less empty carbs and sugar to give you more energy. Have you ever noticed how all you want are sweets and pastries when you're super tired? Yup. How do you improve your sleeping habits? Here are some quick tips. 1. Turn off your TV and any electronics at least an hour before going to bed. 2. Create a sleeping schedule. 3. Try a relaxing routine. Take a bath, read a book, meditate, do yoga, before going to bed to get a good night's sleep. 4. Stop drinking caffeine after 6 p.m. This one was huge for me. 5. Start an exercise routine. The more regular and good sleep your body gets, the happier your body will be, making it easier to get and stay healthy. Hack number 3. Cook your own meals. A great way to kickstart weight loss and healthy eating is to cook your own food. Cooking your own meals will give you full control over the quality of ingredients, portions, and calories that you put into your body. It's really the first step towards taking control of your food. Eating pre-packed foods is made to keep on shelves, not nourish your body and restaurants liberally use salt and butter to make their food taste great. This is also a great way for you to learn what healthy foods you like and don't like. If you're looking for healthy eating inspiration, there are tons of meal prep ideas for healthy eating on this blog to get you started. Food life hacks don't work if you hate your food so find what foods you enjoy and start there with basic ingredient substitutions to make them healthy. Hack number 4. Learn to portion control. Portion sizes are getting larger and larger, despite the need to eat less and less processed foods. Restaurant and takeout portions are way too big. In so many cases, one portion can easily exceed your calorie needs for an entire day. And that's why it's important to practice portion control. Don't let the restaurant or package dictate your portion size, understand what you need and eat just that. Now, when I say portion control, I don't mean eating one pea and one carrot for dinner. I mean eating what your body actually needs to function well and stay healthy. The more food you eat that you don't need, the more fat will get stored in your body and vice versa. So, how do you portion control? Here are some quick tips for how to portion your food. 1. Eat balanced meals. Aim for heavy on veggies, a few healthy carbs, and lean protein. 2. Opt for whole grains and complex carbs instead of simple carbs. 3. Measure food with a kitchen scale to get an understanding of how much you're eating. 4. 
if at a restaurant, take home leftovers, there's no need to clear that giant plate. The better you understand what's in your food, the more comfortable you'll become with understanding what your body needs. It might be helpful to track your meals for a typical week to get a baseline for what foods you're eating and how many calories they contain, paying attention to the macros, fat, carb, and protein breakdown. Then, as you understand what foods contain what, you'll be better armed to understand portion control on the fly. Until then, making your food at home is a great way to control the portion. We also use these meal prep containers to help plan out our meals, if you add the correct amounts to the meal prep container, there's no need to worry about how much of it to eat when you're enjoying your meal. Hack number 5. Meal, plan ahead. In my opinion, planning is the most important weight loss hack out of all weight loss hacks. Without planning, you have very little control over your destiny and healthy lifestyle. There's a saying, failing to plan is planning to fail. That means you leave it up to circumstance and fate to find healthy food while out or you deal with what options you have available to you. Personally, I find it very difficult to eat healthy when I don't have a plan and when I haven't surrounded myself with healthy options. For example, when you have pre-portioned meals ready and waiting for you in the fridge, eating healthy is so much easier. That being said, I do have a post on helpful tips for how to eat healthy at restaurants that you can help to base your decisions on. Meal planning eliminates temptations almost entirely. Plus, when you meal prep, you can always opt for the best ingredients, you can pre-portion your food and forget about opening the fridge just to find out you have nothing to eat. Check out my post on meal prep ideas to get started. Planning also helps with making poor food choices. Do you know what restaurant you're going to later? Check out the menu online ahead of time to see what your best options are, it can be difficult to think straight when you're hungry and rushed. Please like, comment, share subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.